Welcome to part two of Artisan Command. As a quick recap, in part one, we made a command to create new companies in our database. Now we were passing the name and the phone number as an optional parameter through the signature. But I want to convert this into an interactive command, meaning it will ask us the questions, we answer them, and then we'll get a confirmation at the end. It's a little bit difficult to explain, so let's just jump right into it, and I think you'll get it right away. So let's actually erase those two variables, and let's do the following. I will comment this out for now, and right above it, I will say name equals this ask. And then what are we asking? What is the company name? I will actually comment this out, and then I just want to echo out name. So this info name just to see what kind of results we get. Let's run our command. PHP, Artisan, contact company. So what is the company name? We'll say a cool company. And sure enough, we get that right back. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, let's do another one. Let's say phone. What is the company's phone number? All right, and let's go ahead and echo out phone. Let's run the command again. So what is the company name? Company. What is the company's phone number? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And sure enough, we get that back. How cool is that? This style of command is very helpful for those that are unfamiliar with our command's signature because they actually don't need to know the order or anything else. The command will prompt the user for everything else. So now let's do a final confirmation. Let's say if this confirm are you ready to insert and then I want to put the company name let me put a double quote there now let's add name and then and let's just put a question mark okay so if that is true then we will go ahead and eventually I will still leave this commented out but eventually we will actually create it otherwise we'll say this warn no new company was added. That way we provide some feedback to our user. Fair enough. All right, let's give this a go. Try one more time. What is the company name? We'll just type in whatever company phone number. No new company was added. Okay, I must have made a mistake here. Ah, it's not configure, it's confirm. There we go, confirm. All right, let's try that again company name, company phone number. Are you ready to insert SDF? Yes or no? If I just hit enter, we know that no is the default command. And if I typed in yes, then of course we would have actually created our company. I'll type in yes and no new company was added. Fair enough. I didn't actually return anything from here. So let's go ahead and do the following. Let's insert that record. Instead of arguments, we know we actually have variables by the name of name and by the name of phone. So we'll insert that and then let's return this info added. And then we'll put company name. So our command now does the exact same thing, but it is interactive. Let's give it a full run through. Add a new company. What is the company name? Cool company. What is their phone number? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Are you ready to insert cool company? Yes, I am. And we get an error. Looks like I made a typo here. There we go. We'll fix that. And one more time. What is the company name? Cool company. Phone number. Are you ready to insert them? Yes. And sure enough, we added cool company. So now if we jump back to Chrome and we hit refresh, we do have all of those companies that we've been working towards. So that's pretty cool for a command. So now you know how to interactively create a command. These are very useful whenever there's a lot of parameters that you have to bring in to be able to do your work, because this way it guides the user through entering the information, as opposed to just asking them to kind of know what the command is all about. So that makes them very user friendly. So in the next lesson, I want to tackle a different kind of command. So when you're ready, let's move on to the next lesson on closure-based commands.